Good morning and hello, I'm Professor Cohen. This is the Forex Supermodel Racing Review for Sunday the 17th of April 2022. Quick look at yesterday's results then for Saturday the 16th. We were at Cork on the flat in the 4.35. Uh, we had a couple of horses against this uh, odds-on favourite. Um, ultimately number one French claim won at 5-6 to six, uh, and we were on a quarter point uh, win at uh, Great Max which came through at 6 to 5 and we got slightly better than that and uh, and we had half a unit on uh, the one we thought was uh, had plenty of potential which was uh, number 5 freedom of speech which came fifth ultimately at 12 to 1 so neither of those horses fired and yet again the uh, the odds on favorite uh, came in and spoiled the party we've uh, that's uh, so we've had four uh, losses since since our last win at about 12 to 15 to 1 uh, and uh, they've all been, uh, three of them have been odds on favourites and one was 74 so anyway that's the way it goes I suppose um, uh, we lost three quarters of a unit so we're plus 58.5 units in profit overall so we'll stop it there and write up uh, today's racing but we're back, we're up today's racing then for Sunday the 17th then we've got no filter one which is our structural filter we do have an alternate, it's at Newbury on the flat at 356 uh, it's an EBF, European Breeders Fund uh, conditional stakes three year old uh, one mile two furlongs good um, the odds on favorite here is number four uh, walk of walk of stars four to six uh, it's had two runs um, uh, new market initially and then at nottingham both on soft uh, which are issues and it didn't beat much in either of those races so uh, what you're really betting on here uh, is uh, these horses have been off uh, off since their two-year-old careers this is obviously a three-year-old race um, for between five and six months so you're betting on a combination of, um, of, of their previous form and their physical development now um, it's worth we're quite happy to take this one on because it's got two uh, crosses in the box uh, it's not run on the ground and uh, it didn't beat much either however if you look at um, number three half it uh, we've got a quarter of a unit win on that one. Um, the odds, relatively tight. It's a close second favourite. Uh, and uh, whilst we like that horse, uh, we're going to have to use it as a as a lever to uh, uh, generate some profits on uh, the one we've gone for, which is number one, Berkshire Rebel. Now, Berkshire Rebel is about nine and a half to one. So we've, we've uh, 9.5 to one. And we've got half a unit on at that. So... Uh, uh, and we've got uh, basically a break-even position uh, on uh, this Hafit to win. So, so if Hafit wins, we more or less break even, very minor loss. And if uh, number one wins, uh, Berkshire Rebel, we uh, we do very well indeed. And obviously, if the short price favourite comes in, we'll lose a lot. But uh, but anyway, the logic of it is is that we believe uh, this this odds-on favourite is very beatable. Uh, and. Uh, Hafi is the is uh, these two are linked if you look at the uh, collateral form, uh, and what you're really saying is is that you think there's been no uh, suitable um, physical development uh, or crossover in in the in the development of these horses um, in the last five or six months if you want to take uh, a very short price alone on Hafi, whereas we're going to use uh, Hafi as a lever into Berkshire Rebel. Uh, and uh, hopefully we'll get we'll get a result there. So uh, things have been, um, uh, as I say, all, all these uh, short price favourites have been uh, just seeing us off, and our horses haven't really been firing, but uh, they will. Uh, it's just the way it goes. So uh, uh, that's what we're doing. We're having a go at uh, Newbury uh, three fifty six. Uh, it's a condition race over ten furlongs, and as I say it revolves around those three. Uh, and we're going to um, uh, use uh, number three half feet as a lever into making decent profits on Berkshire Rebel. So anyway, hope that was useful and uh, thanks for watching. Uh, see you tomorrow and goodbye.